Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland 38 and today I'm bringing you a really nice knife for review and this is a Gerber fast draw serrated knife. It's a model 22-09446W. Now there's a few different models out so I've given that to you to uh, in case you want to reference it online and uh, take a good look at the knife. Now before I go too far I want to give a big shout out to Anthony at the local Walmart. He works at the sporting goods department with the knives, ammunition, and all. He's extremely helpful. And when I was in there, he goes, WC, take this knife home. You're going to love this thing. This is a really great knife. Anthony didn't lie. This is a really nice knife. And there's a little bit of history with this knife also. Now, Gerber has come up with what's called a fast opening system and that stands for forward action spring technology well that's real nice what the heck is that the fast action technology was designed by a man named Butch Vallotton I believe that's how it's pronounced and he has the patent on it and it's a really good incorporated semi-spring uh, action is a really really good deal now one thing about this knife that I didn't know until I researched it this is the very first type of knife to have the fast action in it all the others have come later on the Gerber design that have incorporate the fast action technology way cool now let's uh, get to the technicals on it the overall length is seven and three seven and a quarter inches. It's got a pocket clip. It also sits low and it's easy to conceal. See how high that is? That's real nice. It's made for tip up carry. Blade is nicely centered. It has left and right hand thumb studs. And it has a closed blade lock. Now some people don't care for that. I'm neutral. If, if it has it, fine. If it, it doesn't have it, I'm not too worried about it. It has a very comfortable grip. It's not G10. But it's not a cheap plastic either. So it's a type of nylon and fiberglass mix. Now as far as the handle, it is a mix. I think it's one of those polyfiber ones that uh, you hear about every now and then. Hard to tell for sure. There's no exact information about uh, what the handle consists of, but you can tell if you ever go check one of these out. You can tell by the way it feels it's not a, uh, like a cheap plastic. Now, let's do something important. Let's open this bad boy up. Now, you have to unlock it. When the red's open, it's ready for business. Bam! Very nice. It's got the serrations on it. Not extremely long. Like I said, it's uh, seven and a quarter inches from uh, nose to tail. Not bad at all. There's, of course, the Gerber logo. Those serrations will get you if you're not careful, believe me. Now, it's not an open design, and it's not a liner lock. It's closed in. So if you do have to clean it, you're going to have to get a little semi-Q-tip thing that doesn't leave a bunch of lint behind, and it can get in there and uh, clean her up. The blade itself is a surgical stainless steel with a titanium nitride coating, or T-I-N-I. You've heard about this before on a couple of other blades. It looks like it's stonewashed, but I don't believe so. I've seen some stonewashed blades, and this doesn't fit that. But it looks like it's stonewashed. And it would cost a lot more if it, if it was stonewashed, too. Now... 
closing. Yeah, unlock it. Now this button fills when you do it in two stages. Can you hear that? When it locks, you can you should actually hear it go down in stages. Now it's locked, it won't move. See? So it's kind of cool for in the pocket carry, especially being carried tip up. You don't want that thing coming open on you by accident. Push it up. Red means ready. Bam! That's some real authority there. Now it does have a little bit of moderate jumping right over where the uh, thumb studs are. And no real jumping at all on the top. But what is nice are the curves in the belly of the handle to get your fingers into. Really nice. It's a real comfortable knife to hang on to. Like I said, it's as sharp as a razor blade right out of the box. Now I haven't touched this thing, but I'm going to do it. I'll give it a little test with a piece of a card and we'll see how it does. Okay. Ooh! Now that's, that's nice. I haven't even touched it. Let's do one more. Well, you know what I mean. That was operator error. There we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all for this knife. Clean up a little bit. This knife was approximately $30 at the Walmart. Highly recommend it. The Gerber Fast Draw. A real nice quality knife. Good for everyday carry. Get a nice little look at that handle for you before we go. Definitely a good buy. Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it. This is W Copeland 38 saying have a good day and I'm gone.